Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to review Black Cotta Note 4 Lite ROM for your Samsung Galaxy S3 i9900. If you go to the about settings, you can see Black Cotta Note 4 Lite ROM, which is version 1 and uh, which is based on Android 4.4.4. And this ROM is actually from the XDA developer Note 4 S3 ROM, that is a Black Cotta S5 ROM, is a very good developer for the S3 community and then this ROM is actually consists of mainly not for features so you can find even the theme and the launcher is also all from not for itself you can find the notification area it's, it's also from not for only and you will get many not for features like uh, even the task manager you can see it's from not for and if you first, if you look at the ROM, RAM usage, you, guess, you can see it's something around 650 or something, okay. And then uh, we can see in the uh, calendar or weather budget from not for itself, which is good, it is transparent. First, we'll go and look at the settings from the notification area. We'll get this uh, network restriction option, first of all. You can use all the applications without connection to the network. You can also receive SMS and calls as, to, as well as and then here is a reading mode and then ultra power saving mode which will save more battery by changing it to a minimalistic mode. Okay, so you can see the, the number of applications you can use is actually limited. We can use another UPS manager to add more applications to this list here you can see the battery percentage as well as the estimate the maximum standby time so that is the ultra power saving mode and if you look at the next option you can find multi window you can you can't actually see the multi window controller here because from note 4 it changed to hidden state so you have to press and hold this back button to see this one so there are some applications we can actually open in a pen window. This is actually a new version of pen window. So this application we can simply open, simply open in a, this kind of, instead of open this one, if you simply tap on that application, it will open directly to a multi, uh, pen window. Like if you uh, want to open this as a pen window, I have to just tap it once. So it will open like this only. So we can easily uh, minimize and then we will get this kind of see, small icon. We can do that also and then we can also have this drag and drop up fields. And if you look at the next option, we have normal multi mobile hotspot, screen mirroring and then uh, different NFC modes are there. And then uh, Smart options like smart stay, smart scroll options are there and then in power saving mode you have this grayscale mode which will turn your screen into black and white which will save more battery. And then besides that, and besides that if you look at the next option, we have this blocking mode, we can block different options like uh, our incoming call and uh, notification and all for a set of time and then fight mode hands free mode even the flashlight is here okay so that is from the notification area we look at the basic operations of the ROM like dialer option the dialer is also from not for and it has this record option so we can record the call and then you'll get all the controls from here and then even the contacts app as well as messaging apps is also from not for like it supports this notification you will get this pop-up display and also the message display will show the pop-ups and then uh, browser is from this is a browser from S5 itself and then if you look at the camera we we'll get this normal S3 camera. You can use the volume key as camera button. And besides that, so 
accessory about that. We can also turn off the shutter sound as well. So these are the this is a customized camera. And then if we look at the settings, we go to the settings menu. We'll have all these quick settings. We can also adjust and add any options to quick settings. And the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, these are the normal settings we use to get in all the almost all the ROMs and then sound settings, display and wallpaper. You can change the phone from here. Daydream option is there. And then the lock screen, we get all the new lock screen options. This is the lock screen types and then this is the lock screen effects. You can see the the previous there itself. So these are diff different options are different kind of lock screen effects are there and then here is also the charging effect it will show the effect while charging the phone and then here is a festival effect which will uh, show in the home and lock screen the special events festival events and then multi video option S Pen is not actually applicable for us because we are using S3, S3 so motion and uh, Testers are there, then other options like EC mode, OK mode, private mode, even call and message block to block a call or message on the basis of list, block list, and then safety assistance in case of emergency, and then other things, security, and even the application settings. Within here, you can find almost all the system application settings. If you look at the menu, you can find all this gallery, music app, video app, S Planner, calculator, voice recorder, my files, all from the note for itself. And then here it is also the S Galaxy Essential option is here. And the S Memo, then OT Updater, which will allow you to check the ROM updation. Then you can download it from here. So this is pretty good. And then even the UPS Manager, you can select from the ROM Aroma installation. And besides all these things, you can add many options and modes and apps from the Aroma installation itself. Basically, this is a very stable and a very fast ROM, I think. And then, uh, just this is the first iteration of the ROM, so give more time to developer, he'll come with something else. So, if you want to know how to install this ROM, there is a, there is a link in the video description to show you how to install this. Go and check it out. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.